Uh, did you guys see the Ronda Rousey interviews? The last two? Saw a highlight. I just saw the one with Mike Golick. That one, yeah. God, I, she's just not winning any fans with this, is she? What she why don't, I didn't I'll just it. play it for you. It's pretty short. So. And right. what's the other one on first take? Bad too? With Max Kellerman? I didn't see it. Max is my favorite. So Let me see. I'll the, just play him Show Brian it. the first one. Okay. Let's go back and, and, and start with when you knew from the, the MMA, when you were done there, when you, when you knew in your mind, I'm not going to fight anymore. I never said that. Ah, so there is a possibility that you could go back in time? There's a possibility that I could go back in time? That's go, your question to me? Go back in time and, and, and fight. Go back in the octagon. I do not have the ability to go back in time, no. No. Would you fight again? I don't know. Yeah, she gets very, very defensive. Well, you're not allowed to ask MMA questions. I've never seen yeah. this one. Let me she see this so one. so defensive. Right. Okay, Rhonda, what they didn't play in that preview, that was, make that, Max Kellen. Make that bigger for me. About sure. you, was I said that you were a woman who, through your fighting, when, it, when you became such a big deal. She looks mad lost, now. It's like the earth stopped spinning on its axis. And that's the part I chose to focus on after your loss in the, w, in the UFC. Yikes. Like, why is everyone talking about, oh, my God, she lost. Is she over it? All these kind of things. When you achieved such heights that one loss, the whole world stopped and noticed it. Yeah, man. So it's kind of think a backhanded clock. Yeah, it is. Negative backlash to you after the loss. Um, She's not happy. In other words, people, it, it, you must be aware, in the, in the MMA world, there was a lot of talk, well, she was overrated, she was this, she was that, and my point of view was, at the time, and remains, that you achieved... She walk off? No. Almost no one wins forever. Everyone suffers setbacks. But there seemed to be, like, an unusual amount of negative pushback after your loss. Did you, did you not experience that? Max, up. I experience a lot of people who quote some people that are really just afraid to state their own opinion. Do you think it's my opinion? That no, that's not my opinion. No, I can tell you right she's now. She's not winning not anyone over with this, but I thought you achieved amazing things. I was and am remain a big fan of your fighting and of you. That's not that's not me saying some people meaning me. That is me saying I read and heard from others and defended you. Well, thank you for defending me. I appreciate that. Okay. Ronda, I... So uh, it's just a couple uh, of Max awkward... didn't do himself any favors there. That was with, a bad one, With right? Ronda, too, though... <laughs> Yeah. So, obviously, Max doesn't know UFC mixed martial arts at all. So, imagine if Canelo came on and Max went, hey, he would never do this to a bo- ever, ever do this to a boxer. Mm-hmm. If he went, hey, Canelo, so we saw the first test, you know, it was barely over with Clembuterol. He said it was Mexican tacos. The second one was 15 times higher. Do you want to talk about that? How do you feel about yeah. that? A lot of people say you're on steroids. A lot of people think you're cheating. Yeah. I don't know if I agree with it. What do you think the people saying you're cheating? Yeah. He would I, never I do that. I think that Ronda got mad because Max was asking a question he knew the answer to. So, so I can tell you what the answer is. I mean, so in other words, if I ask that question, what I'm really trying to get Ronda to do is say, you know what? <clears throat> I was a heel. I didn't win well. I didn't uh, with Misha Tate when I didn't shake her hand. Mm. Huge fucking people went, wow, including me, uh, including me. Yeah. I did not appreciate it as a fan. She I thought was, it was she, bad. Was, but you know and, what's weird about that? Be, yeah. and th- th- I don't think Max is saying this. This is your own deal with this yeah. stuff. After Ronda beat Misha, people, a lot of people respect her more after that because of what Misha said about her mom. I didn't hear what she said about her mom, so I don't know. Exactly. So yeah. this is your own deal? Yeah, this yeah. isn't Max's. But then, but let, me, let, me going, Max's. let me keep going. But also, her star was never bigger than after Misha yeah. Tate. So carry on. Um, and, but, 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 and, I, and I disagree with that for another reason, but I, I hear you. I'm I saying number-wise? Yes, number-wise. Numerically? Yes. Fan-wise? So, never bigger. So, so what happens, you can do that, right? You can be the heel, and I will like you. Like, that's just Ronda, right? Now. Until you lose. Still, exactly. So that already sets the stage. Then the way she came after Holly Holm before she beat her was not graceful. It was really, it was kind of insulting. She called her a it bitch. Was, it, it was nasty. weird, right? Was so when you do that and you lose, because what you're behaving like actually is a bully, because you're not being graceful in victory, you're being a bully. And so I think when that happens, I don't care what anybody says, that's, that's how I felt. And I, you know, I like Rhonda. But when I saw that, I was like, it didn't make me feel good. 
And I'm not surprised in the least that the fans and Americans were Backlash. like, ah, they, they came after her. I, see, I, that, that's what happens. I, I, and and, and one, the, more, thing, one loss, more thing to say, one more right. thing to say, when she lost, unlike a lot of other people like Conor McGregor, she just disappeared. Mm. Bingo. Right. That, that, that's the, yeah, out of uh, most of the stuff I don't, some of I don't agree with you with, mm-hmm. but with that, that's the biggest thing is after a loss, what you can't do is go media, 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 media. Yes, give me all the interviews, give me all the interviews. Well, it's fine and dandy. Yes, yes, I'm the best ever. Yep. Oh, you put me on ring cover. Oh, I'm this, I'm this. And then you lose. You go, I'm not doing this. Right. People go, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Hold on. Sore We're loser, in this right? ride together. Yes. Nope, I'm not doing this. I'm not talking to you guys anymore. Uh, what the fuck, man? Exactly. And then people go, oh, fuck that. Right. And then the hate goes, Oof. yeah. And then you disappear. Now you're doing this. Media is not supposed to ask about MMA at all. I don't know if you know that. I you, don't. You're not supposed to talk about fighting with her at all. I didn't so know. So when that. they bring and it I up. And I wouldn't. And I would never ask that question that Max, I mean, maybe because I know Ronda, but I'd be, I, mm, I, I don't I, think there's any good answer there. I mean, I, you're but, putting Ronda on the this, spot, but, spot but, right? And I think it's mismanagement with Ron, what Ronda's team is doing. Well, yeah. they should go, listen. Obviously, not everyone's a fan. You need to address this head on. You avoiding it and shutting down the SMMA is making it worse. Right. What you should do is, look, I had a hell of a career, hell of a ride. Holly Holm's a damn good fighter, man. And I had no business fighting Amanda Nunes. I was in the right mind frame. I'm on to bigger, better things. I'm in WWE now. I've always wanted to do this. I'm looking forward to it. That loss sucked, but here we are now. That's and right. guys will go, boom. Oh, okay, cool, man. And then move on. Exactly. But when you go, yeah. don't do this, or you, now, now <clears throat> the only the the only publicity you've gotten out of all this press is negative now. Wouldn't because you? yep. you've done so much great stuff. I couldn't. But agree then more. you shit on it with this, and I, then what do all the outlets pick up? This. Yeah. yeah when I, she's not, she's not a bad person. No. She's she's not a mean person. And she is a pioneer. She she is a pioneer. She's on the Mount Rushmore. Yep. But whoever's managing her. They're just, they're doing such a shitty job of it. And this, her manager is the same as The Rocks. But be his, The Rocks can't think, fucking miss. The, so all I would, I would say, listen, you, we need to do a media scrum and you're going to fucking attack this head on. Yeah. And anything they ask you, don't get defensive. Don't be mean. Just go, uh, it's Holly Holm, man. All time world. So champion. the only person that at could, the time too, I, I, I was, I was upset. Yeah. I felt like, you know, I, I wasn't prepared. I was having issues with my camp, with my trainer. I was going through this. I was going through this. And, me, Come off as human, and everyone go. I get that, and yep. then we leave it alone. Yep. But what you're doing now is people go, oh, oh, look, the superstar, she she's wounded. What's up? <clears throat> Let's yeah. keep poking. Let's keep yeah. poking the bear. And you're going to deal with this your entire career, and it's overshadowing her. She, she has the, moving on. She has the potential to be the biggest WWE star of all time, right. but she's not handling it right. But B, she doesn't have anybody like you to tell her that. And I'm not the guy is, for the job. No, that's why I'm not the guy is, for the but, job. But my guess is that Ronda listens to very few people, and if you start talking to her that way, especially her management, that she doesn't know or trust very much. She probably has trust issues with human beings. Correct. So my feeling is that with someone like Ronda, she's going to get defensive immediately, probably because that's how she grew up. She's she's very defensive and not and it's, she it's, trust it, people. It, it, she put the shell around. It's worked this. <clears throat> Far, but That's now right. in media, it doesn't work like right. that. It doesn't work. She just needs she needs somebody who uh, 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 the responsibility ultimately lies with her because she's got to be willing to listen. Because what you thoughts. can't do is go. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. it's never happened. Well, no, no, no. Hold on. That was a huge yeah. moment in time. Let's talk about it. Yeah. If it and <clears> I'm not <throat> even even on the same wavelength as far as fame and fighting like that. You want to talk about my losses? Let's do it, man. What sure. do you want to do? What do you sure. want? Let's knock that out so I can tell you about my show coming up. Yeah. If I go on radio shows, they bring it up. Man, your last fight, 2014, Travis Brown, I'm like, fucking terrible. You turn it into a strike. God, I'm like in punch in the face. You anymore. turn it into Have a you strike? seen my set? Yeah. First half an hour of my set is about how I got here. Yeah. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. Let's talk about that. You turn it into a strength. 100%. And, and I think that um, I think that's just... It falls on her management. The it's world, not up to... R- Ronda was built this way. Ronda's built yeah. as a winner, winner, man. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That girl, if you get in a race, even though she has bad knees, she will do whatever it takes to get to that finish line yes. and probably beat you by any means necessary. So you have a team around that goes, let's do this. Let's show them a softer side because it's there. Would she listen, though? You know her. That's the I, yeah, I haven't talked to her forever. I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. sure. But Look, but but what she should do knowing Hollywood what she should do is watch these interviews yeah. and go, Ah, that's not the message I want to do, man. Or her management, this is the prom. I bet when she gets back, her team's going, Can you believe that? What the fuck, exactly. man? When they should be going, exactly. Ugh, that's not what we came here to do. Exactly. Because now the only thing everyone's picking up is that. Yeah. When the message was you being at WrestleMania, SummerSlam, or whatever the fuck it's called. That was the message. Now the message is all this. I agree. Yeah, I, I've had. Sorry, gone that rant there, but it just 
Well, I, no, I, I, mean, I haven't even really talked about it, but uh, it's, it's again. I, I keep saying herself. that the ultimate responsibility lies with Ronda. That you've got to you've got to be able to navigate this. If you can't navigate the press, but B, you've pool. you've been around fighters, yeah. there's dude. I'm dealing with on below the belt. Yeah. Uh, you know, I talk very I sensitive. Don't, I don't. I, I I give, and it's the worst part about my gig is when I have to give predictions on fights, or I'll say this guy has this weakness, this guy has this strength, this this what happened. I, can't, I don't make this stuff up, but I talk about the current situation of the fighters going on. Some fighters, you all get DM. What the fuck, man? How can you talk? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. What do you want me to do, man? So for her, that's a fighter's mentality. Yeah. I said that to you one time because I had been around fighters. How, how, about, how about one time? Remember remember uh-huh. when, when, I, when I, I'm not going to say who it is or what it was, when I went, I went dark on someone on a show, super dark. And I was like, I dare you to try it with me. Remember I got all mean and nasty? Yes. And you went, nope, hold up, cut this. Yes. This is Fox Day's chin. Brian goes, no, no, no. You're not, I'm not letting you go out like that. Yeah. I'm telling you, Brendan, that's yeah. not what you want to put we, we out. We went outside and, and you, and you went, you went, you're not, you're not that guy. No. You, you, what's happening is, is you've been put in a corner and you feel disrespected and you're lashing out. That's not you though. Yes. That's not, I know that's not you. And I took 10 minutes. I went, you're right, Brian. Thank God you did that. Yes. Cause that would have looked so bad. And you came back and you made it a joke and it was perfect. Correct. Cause I could see it. Cause I could tell you were already. You were you. Your feelings were hurt. Yes. And as a fighter and as an athlete, you're you're like you're one of those guys. You you what? If I give you like five minutes of breathing room, you're fine. But to to what part of what got you there as a competitor? You or any of and, and I've said this to you with other uh, fighters I've been around. What what gets fighters? You're on your own in that octagon. It takes a specific personality, different fucking people to get into an octagon and fight. And and it it, it requires a lot of self belief and the way you talk about yourself and stuff and. And I've never met a more sensitive group of people. If you mm. attack their honor, their commitment, their whatever it might be, you're going to hear about. Well, they it. store it away too. They store it away. It's very, you go, very hard. You'll read something. Even when I'm fighting, even now a little bit, I try to get away from it. But someone say something, you go click, and you're like an elephant. Oh, he said that. That's right. And then when you're on these media tours, and they're like, "There's that guy." Mm-hmm. Yep. Nope, not him. Yep. Nope, not doing that. Yep. Nope, I can see that. it with you because I can see your nose starts to flare a little bit and your face gets flushed. And I go, ah, fuck, the big man. <laughs> not, the big man. Not, not anymore. Now I really don't do No, it. not I'm, anymore. I'm a, a not anymore. Mindset. You're so savvy now. Yeah. But when you were younger and you when were- When we first met, it was and, trouble, man. And those fucking wo- those wounds heat. were fresh, man. You were fighting. You were fighting, and you but had I'm, to believe I'm, in yourself. I'm super fortunate where I have good people around me, but I'm also open-minded. I know yeah. if Brian's saying this, if Rogan's saying this, whoever's saying this, yeah. Or my team saying this, I'm out of, I'm, yeah, I'm on the right mind frame. That, that's what I think. Maybe Rhonda doesn't do enough of. She she probably doesn't actually listen to the people closest to her. She or might have the wrong ask, team around. Right. She may not ask. She may not even ask their honest opinion. And you know, you and I, the most important thing about friendships is that, like we're honest with each other. We're fucking honest with each other. You know, the the person who tries the most honest with her is her, is her husband, Travis Brown. Where you know, I don't know if, what Travis thinks of me. Travis is a good guy. Yeah. Travis is a good dude. So yep. maybe. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, Travis wasn't the best, you know, as far as ripping promos on the mics of a phenomenal fucking fighter. Yeah. And I, I don't know where he's at as far as entertainment business savvy. I have no idea. Probably not his cup of tea. Maybe, maybe he can see it. I don't know. Or maybe they're both just the fighter mentality. And he's like, no, fuck them. Fuck them. Which it isn't going to be good at the end of the road. Yeah. Yeah, man. He's yeah. But the, the ship they're going down, it's just. Man, you need you need a dip, and um, and I'm not talking about her specifically. Someone on her team, they need to Im- implement someone to control this, not control her. You just you gotta you gotta you gotta paint a different picture. Go, you're doing this. I get it, man. That sucks. I understand exactly what we're going through. I would try this way though, because yeah. this is what Hollywood's picking up. Yeah. And also, you want to be in movies? That ain't gonna get you there because no. everyone shuts down when they see that. <clears throat> yeah, they do. It makes everyone on the edge of the scene go, oh, yeesh. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's it's an interesting thing, man. It's like um, you you just part of like learning how to navigate that negative energy is so important when you're a celebrity on that level. Fuck, you know. And if you can't do it, it will eat you up.